Welcome to Music with Mrs. Avery. Today we are going to talk a little bit more about how instruments produce sound and we're going to look closer at our classroom instruments and we are going to classify them by the way that they produce sound. So when I show you an instrument today I want you to yell out what it is and then I want you to yell out which category we should classify it under. Here are our categories striking, hitting, shaking, and blowing wind into. So let's see how many you can get correct. Instrument number one, what is it? That's right, it's a tambourine. Let's review what it sounds like. Did you notice how I played it? Where should we classify it? That's right, under striking, hitting, and shaking. Let's classify our tambourine under that category. Great job. Let's look at our next instrument. The maracas. How am I playing this one? How does this instrument make sound? That's right, by shaking it. So the maraca and the tambourine have something in common, don't they? Excellent. How about these, what are they? That's right, rhythm sticks. And there's a few different ways we can play rhythm sticks, right? So where should we classify our rhythm sticks? Again, under striking, hitting, and shaking. You are on a roll. Let's see, how about this one? Our melody bells. Let's review how to play it. Remember, we have to use the mallet. What do you think? Where should it go? Striking, hitting, or shaking, or blowing wind into? That's right. We had to strike those metal bars with the mallet. So we are going to add our melody bells to striking, hitting, and shaking. Here's one. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. So how about our voices? Our voices are instruments. But where would we classify our voices? Striking, hitting, shaking, or blowing wind into? Well, we're not really blowing wind into anything, but we are pushing air out. So that would be the correct category to classify our voice in. Our voice is a wind instrument. There we go. You are doing a great job so far. Just a couple left. How about this one? Yeah, our conga drum. And we play bongos and all sorts of drums in class. Where would our drum go? Yell it out. That's right, under striking, hitting, and shaking. Excellent. Now I have one new instrument to show you, and this is an instrument that you will get to play when you are in fourth grade. So watch as I play it. This is called the recorder. And how did I produce its sound? That's right, by blowing wind into it. Awesome job. 
So let's take a look at our finished tree mat. Let me bring it closer to you. So striking, hitting, shaking, we have our tambourine, maracas, rhythm sticks, melody bells, and drum. And blowing wind into, we have our voice and recorder. So what do you notice about this? That's right, we play more instruments in class that produce sound by striking, hitting, and or shaking then. That's because in our music classroom, we have mostly percussion instruments and percussion instruments produce sound by striking, hitting, and shaking them. You did a great job classifying our classroom instruments by how their sound is produced. Now I want you to log into our Seesaw classroom and complete the activity on how instruments produce sound. You are gonna classify pictures of instruments based on how they produce sound. You're gonna see the same two categories in the tree map, plus one more. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I want you to think about instruments like the guitar, and the violin and think about what they have in common because that might help you classify that last category. I can't wait to see your tree maps.